We're doing something we haven't really done before in the bus. We're staying at an RV park. Not for the very first time. We did stay in an RV park when we went to Colorado to visit the kids, but we haven't used one ever since then. The whole time, what is it, almost eight months now that we've been living in the bus. But the temperatures have gotten way hotter and Mike is still working his job here in Wilcox, Arizona. So for right now, we needed to be at a place where we could plug in and have the AC running because it's 100 degrees every day here already and it's barely the beginning of June. So this is the only way we're gonna survive until we know where we're headed next. to know about building a tiny home in a bus is that it doesn't matter how much furniture and appliances you put in it you have your bed and your couch and your all the things right no matter how much you put in it you're still living in a car <laughs> okay it's a really big car but you're still living in a car you're still living in a vehicle and in southern Arizona, where we happen to be right now, it's, it's getting hot. Yeah, it is hot, too, hot. Yeah, you can't leave your pet in a vehicle unattended, right? Well, you can't leave yourselves in a vehicle unattended, unattended. either. <laughs> and we built this bus to boondock. We could go out in the desert, but to run your mini split to maintain a, a relatively comfortable, we can come in here and leave the fan on you know, put the fan up in the skylight and stuff and kind but, of suffer through it. But we did that. We did that yeah. at Saguaro National Monument where we had no place to plug in and you can't run the AC all day on solar panels. Yeah. So we just had the fan in the skylight blowing air in here and all the windows open and it was almost unbearably hot. Like only because we knew we only had to do it for one day was that was the only reason we yeah. could get through it. Exactly. So because we have to stay in the area and because this isn't going to be something like just this like transient thing where we're passing through. For those of you who don't know, Mike still is working his regular job for right. the time being. Here in Wilcox. And so what we did today, we made a decision just to uh, put this bad girl in, a, in an RV park for a month or so just to get through the hot time. Yeah. And we knew when we built this thing that, you know, it wasn't going to be able to withstand crazy temperatures. In fact, we made the choice not to tear out our ceiling and put, you know, a much thicker, stronger insulation up there because we were like, well, we're going to be on wheels. We can just chase 75 degrees around the country, right? Well, yeah, if you have mobile income right. you can do that but which is something we're working towards yeah. but we just don't have it yet yeah so. we have just a few more steps we have to take to get there right. so it's in our sights we didn't let that stop us from building a bus obviously right. we built the bus anyway but we knew you know that we would have to work through some other things right. before we could just hit the road so we are at the cattle rest bar and grill rv park it's this this little bar and they have a a stage and stuff and have a little live show. A whole dance floor. Whole dance floor, whole night. It's pool definitely tables. a country bar. Yeah. Having a pool tournament tonight, they said. Uh -huh. And uh, but the thing is it was only like it's like three hundred dollars a month to stay here. Yeah, it's nothing. what was it? Two hundred and ninety six dollars a month yeah. is our rent, you guys. It's nothing. <laughs> so right? this is definitely not like what we want to be doing. But yeah, no. It definitely not. this time of year it's just so hot. Like going outside. If you don't, if you don't live in a place that gets really, really hot, you just wouldn't understand. Yeah. Like it's just oppressive. Yeah. To go outside in it. If so. you are planning to visit Arizona, don't do Southern Arizona in the summertime. Yeah. Northern Arizona, up in the mountains, is all you can do that all year round. That's all good. Yeah. But even um, like places like Tombstone, Arizona, the busy season's in the winter. Yeah. Because no and one in the right like, mind comes to Arizona in the summer. Yeah, it's a <laughs> tourist town, but it's totally dead in the summer. It's too yeah, hot. It's too, too hot. hot. So that's why we're here. So I walked into the propane shop because we have a problem with one of our propane lines again. 
And uh, the guy's like, what do you need? And I'm like, I, I didn't know how to explain it, but there it was on the wall. I said, I need one of those. And uh, he went back and he made custom ones for me. So I'm gonna show you guys the difference between somebody who makes one for you at the shop and what you get from China on, on Amazon. Oh. It seems like everything comes from China. Here's the one, okay, if you guys remember a few episodes back, several episodes back, um, we had an emergency gas leak. Carrie called me freaking out, like there's this noise, blah, blah, blah. Behind her talking, I could hear a loud hiss, okay? And it was one of these things right <laughs> this here. This was when we were still parked in our driveway. This wasn't right. a couple episodes ago, this was months ago. Okay, yeah, it was like a year ago. <laughs> remember like a year ago? Anyway, so um, we had to replace one of these. Um, so I went ahead and bought two of them to replace it On and I Amazon. got the one it was all fancy had this braiding and stuff like that so um, So It happened again This time it failed right here Right where the silver turns uh, um, To brass to brass gas is escaping from there, okay, that's twice Both of them came from China so I'm a little disappointed. So I go to the propane shop and they make me one. Now if you notice, this one here is just pressed into the hose. This is actually a spe special kind of hose. It actually has a plastic lining inside. Um, it's like a piece of plastic tubing inside of the rubber here. Um, propane is kind of uh, corrosive to rubber, it turns out. Um, very slowly, but it is. And so over time, it'll eat away the rubber. And so they have that plastic there that makes it last a lot longer. So he made me this and then did some really professional crimps on here instead of just using a hose clamp. He had a special tool, it was kind of cool. I'm just gonna replace this because I'm just tired of this problem with something that's more professionally built than the stuff coming out of China. I've had it with that nonsense. It's very true what they say. You have to expect these little failures to happen when you're out on the road. But they're pretty easy to deal with as you go along. Yeah, they really are. I think the uh, other ones out of, might be out of gas, not sure. And for those of you who might be concerned, we do have a propane detector in our bus. And a smoke detector and... what's the other one? Uh, carbon monoxide. And carbon monoxide detector. Trying to be safe, folks. Well... That's it. I'm gonna go try out our propane here real quick. Oh no, you have to take the hinge off to get that thing off? Uh, it's not a hinge, but yeah. I mean, not door, hinge, but door, whatever that thing is closer. called. <laughs> we just removed a piece of metal that should have come off during the deconstruction process and we just missed it. And then we realized we missed another whole piece too, so Mike's doing it now. Because, see, we still need to paint the inside of our door, so just kind of doing some more of the prep work that we have to do to finally get that job done. When it gets down to the end of the build and you're ready to move in, you just overlook all the little things that aren't done yet because you're just so excited to move in. And you realize that, like, you just can only do so many things. The other piece of trim we need to do, we have to paint this edge of the door over here also. And then this is the disgusting hose from our mini split air conditioning. And that needs to be tucked away behind some, behind some trim as well. Yeah. So. A few little home improvement projects, I suppose. So you're the fire, you're the flare, you're the song inside my head. And I will taste every note, feel so good when you're in my head. And you're the fire, you're the flare, you're the song. Inside my head And I will taste every note Feel so good when you're in my head 
we don't have all the tools that we would normally have, like a bandsaw and stuff, so we just make do with what we got sometimes. Everybody's done this before. Except me, this is my first time. So I've always had all the tools in the world, so. <laughs> nicer than it did before. I, agree. I wish that blue tape wasn't on that hose. Let's get that off of there before we seal the deal. Uh, it's actually there for a reason. What reason? To protect the hose from this metal right here. That's not a very good reason. If it looks ugly. <laughs> not too bad. It's all done? Yeah. Oh, it looks much better. I think so too. Fuck it. I still want to get that blue tape off of there, but we just don't have any other color choices right now. And we might find something else to do with all this nonsense in this area. Right. All the way over to here. We'll see. But that's a great start. That little air conditioning tube has been bothering me the whole time we've been living in here. So, now we need to paint. Not painting today. It's a little too windy for that. Yeah. I'm up here on the roof, first thing in the morning, and look, the sun is coming up. This is where we're staying at the Cattle Rest RV Park. And this is what it looks like at sunrise. It's a very small place, kind of on the edge of nowhere. And we're in the second to last space in the back corner of a very small RV park. It's really nice here. I mean, not not like amazingly nice, like, you know, pine trees and a running stream and 70 degree temperature or 60 degree temperature. <laughs> no, we're in the desert. It's ridiculous. We have another small project this time in the bedroom. This is a long time coming. And so this is actually the second effort in doing this because we we, we thought we got the right one, we brought it over here, and it was too long and we couldn't close the window, so we had to get another one. It's actually called a lift support. Lift support? But it is also called a gas truck, but in the automotive world, they want to call it a, a lift support for some reason. So yeah, <laughs> our, our lift support has been broken the whole time we've had this bus. And this is what I have to do to open and close the window every day because I, I'm not strong enough to like lift this heavy window all the way out that far. I'm not strong enough to lift it out And that we far. have to prop a stick in it to keep it open. So I literally have to use my foot and my leg to push the window out to get the stick in and out to open and close the window. So those days are about to change. Hopefully. Yeah, right? Hopefully this works. Okay, what do I have to do to help you? Set this up over here. Pull this stuff Pull out. Pull the, the screen way. off. Look at my awesome screen, you guys. All magneted up. You didn't even see that there, did you? This is like magic. All right, so these are pretty easy to install. <laughs> okay, the other part though. Now is I have to lift it for you. We have right? to lift this up. A lot. Yeah, quite a bit. Okay. You got to get this from here to here. What is the name for like these leg lifting exercises in the weightlifting world? This is bus fit. <laughs> leg press. A little more. There it is. There it is. That's not a hundred pounds. <laughs> Total fail. Dude. <laughs> God's name did she order? I thought we were going to get this one that was like too hard to open or too to This is supposed to be a hundred pounds. Can you push this up again so I can take oh, it off? Yeah, okay. And I can go back again. 
Oh my gosh. Uh, for, oh my god, hold on. You can uh, for a sec. <laughs> Surprise, they actually had the other one in stock. Take it away, Mike. There you go. That's better. Okay, so the first one we got was the wrong length. And it was a 75 pound lift support. And it was too long. It was too long. However, it held this thing up which was strange because the next one I got was supposed to be 100 pounds and it didn't hold this thing up at all. In fact, it would fall fast. I well, went, they just saw that. Right, and so this one here, which is the 819-5560 from Napa, is 150 pounds. If this doesn't hold it up, this is what we're gonna have to go with because they don't got another one stronger than this that I know where to find. So let's do this. These are easy to put on, you just, that's it. No okay. problem. Up. A little more. That's it. Got it. This one works. Nice. Wow, look at that. All right, go ahead and try to close it. Yeah, I know, right? Let's see if I can get it. Oh, it's totally fine. Nice. Wow, this is excellent, babe. No, High it, five. Put that down again. I want to see it open itself. Oh, okay. Will it? So, okay, let's see. Yeah, if you give it a nudge, it opens itself. That's awesome. Outstanding. That's exactly what we wanted. Yeah, totally good. All right. And now we can keep this door open and no flies come in. And now we don't have to do weird propping things to get that thing up. That's awesome. Total win. Win, win, win. I love it. Me too. Super great. Mm, good one. It may not be the greatest view right now, but that is always subject to change. We were just commenting on how amazing the view out the back window looks for, I mean, we're used to seeing it with that thing like kind of hanging half down with the window hanging half down over the opening. So to have it be completely wide open now is just, yeah, it's so different. It, it feels like we got a new window back there or yeah. something, doesn't it? It's totally. so, so much crazy. Bigger. Wow, that is super cool. Nice improvement. Totally. Nice so, job, Mahomes. Just definitely. Oh, oh wait, my. redo. I can't. So, I can't high five left-handed. <laughs> that uh, that gas truck, I believe, cost me forty-five dollars. Oh my gosh! You're kidding me. The one before that was like thirty-six. Oh. So. I thought they were like 20, 25 bucks. I it just they were depends. Super cheap. Like, because these are higher pressure ones. So these ones were what, 20 bucks a pair? Yeah, for the pair. Okay, so. That one was like 45 for one. Okay, so they but really these ones vary here, in quality. I think these were 20 pound each. Uh huh. That one's 150. For in just one single one. For line. one single, yeah. Okay. So gotcha. that, that had a lot more force. We'll put a link. Uh, to this in the description along with the description of the product because anybody that has an older pusher with a flip top window and that struts going out it's gonna be hard to source that I promise so uh, we'll put a we'll put the uh, part number in the description it's available at Napa and I think they stock it cool so Mike is already working on the project du jour we've lost the glass out of our door <laughs> Can you guess what we're doing? <laughs> Here's a hint. <laughs> Looks like the only thing we used spray paint on on the whole bus, huh? Um, seems like we used black spray paint on a couple of things, like a couple small things here and there we used yeah. rattle cans for. I think you're right. Oh, God, we need some uh, goop off. Goo gone? Yeah, goo gone. I don't think I have any. Let me go look. I can't even believe we have this. <laughs> so awesome. Gotta take the sticky off. Yeah. All right, maybe I should go get some alcohol. It just seems like the, if we're gonna do this, let's just do it right from the beginning. Can you, while I'm gone, grab like some soapy water and just hit this bottom section real good? Sure. The, like a sponge? Sure. Uh, with the rough side of the sponge, because there just seems to be a whole lot of grime down there that alcohol is not going to work on. While I'm gazing through my window tonight, tonight, I'm remembering the things I have done in my life. Oh, making one or two.
Sometimes the choices I made have been hard to Mike always talks about the order of the build, which means, you know, doing those things that you have to have done first before whatever comes next. But no matter how much you plan and prepare for this in your bus build, there's just no way to guarantee that you're going to get everything right. So I don't know how it happened that we built this bus door and we primered the bus door, but we didn't paint the door before installing it i don't even know how that happened or why <laughs> probably just because we were so excited we wanted to just get the door up in place that's kind of a mic thing right he's ignoring me <laughs> he hates painting looks great though so i look at my reflection instead Don't worry guys, we're gonna replace the broken glass at some point, it's just not today. <laughs> now that crack in that glass has really spread. better than how it looked before. I'm well pleased. Good morning, Hans. Good morning. How's the weather up there? Mm, it's just a little bit cooler than it is down there. Not very much though. No, not so much. Um, last night was the first night that I felt like it wasn't refreshingly cool in the evening when we went to bed no, like it was, it was 90 degrees yeah it never cooled off in the evening like it usually does we're just at that time of year yeah oh. okay so up there is the little bar and it's just a bar not a restaurant right yeah it's just a bar it's just a bar there's only a few rvs here in the little row with us we're second to the last bet in the back corner of this small little RV park. This place, however, it got five-star reviews on Yelp. I'm totally okay with staying here. It just takes for the, a while, for yeah. a short period of time. Yeah, it just takes the pressure off. Hold on, because we need to talk about that topic. Mm. So maybe we should just do a quick little update on the fact that we're not staying here for a long length of time. There is like an end date to our time here. I know we've been talking about this for a little while now, but Mike is just about, should I say, you're just about to give your 30 day notice. I, I think by the time this comes out, you will have already given your yeah. 30 day notice. So I think it's safe to say that. Um, we are still working with a client who's interested in having us build a bus for her. We're struggling to find the location where to build the bus. She's working on that. So we're kind of just waiting. Everything is just kind of on hold for that project. But rather than just continuing to stay here and work and live in an RV park, we're still gonna, now that Mike has done all his medical stuff. Yeah, all the checkups. <laughs> all of them, gets even, the green the, flag. even the 50 year old one. You guys, he got the alien probe checkup. <laughs> <laughs> he got probed. You know, thankfully they knocked me out for that. 
they didn't even tell me they were just hammering down the propofol. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I was just waking up. It was just like that, and it was done. So, you know what? I hear that's how the aliens do it, too. Exactly. <laughs> You just wake up when it's done. I wonder if proctologists are aliens. <laughs> All of them. Like, who gets into the, I'm going to study butts. <laughs> right, who wants that for a living? <laughs> okay, so, now that all the medical stuff is done, we can do the 30-day notice and have some time to go have a few little adventures before he starts building this other bus. And there's another possible exciting thing coming up. We have a phone call this morning to learn more about it, so we can't really say very Not much Not just a right phone now. call, it's a Zoom meeting. A Zoom meeting, excuse me, a meeting. And um, because we got invited to a special event. So again, I can't say too much about it right now, but if this all works out and it all goes through, it could be really exciting. Yes, this will be fun. Yeah. Ever since I've been here, I've wanted to escape. I mean, there are redeeming qualities about it, but I grew up surfing and fishing, and, and there was always something to do in this little town because you could just, you know, but out here, like, you can go for a ride, you know, in the desert or something. It's just hot, and, and everything wants to bite you, stick you, poke you. There's no fishing, there's no water. And so I've always wanted to escape. And, and that was actually part of the reason we ended up building this bus was an escape strategy to, to you know, because it's very difficult nowadays with the, with the economy the way it is and inflation and everything else to get and go. So uh, now that we have this, it's just a matter of time now until we're, we, we take off. So that's what's happening. That's why we built this bus. We're gonna bring some adventures your way for sure because there's some really cool places to go and see. And, uh, and you can see it from our perspective. And uh, that'll be so neat. So yeah, cool. I can't wait. I just can't God. wait. I can't. I'm gonna 